Hello, I'm Andrew Lissy, welcome back to Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2, where we're playing the Imperial Campaign. Cadia is about to be attacked. We need to increase our defenses. What we'll do is we'll end the turn. Let's repair, regenerate, and also earn more money. Grave urgency! Oh no! Threat level is raised by two. But we've got all the systems, so actually it reduces all enemy factions threat level by two. So I guess it's zero threat level. We've also got four battle plans. Which we can use. We can actually use that to reduce your... Like, yeah, if we do this, urgency reduction. There. Done. Hell, we can do this a few times, actually. There we go. We can just kick it. You know what? Let's kick it again. Let's end the turn. We can wait. Now, we're getting our money in. Which means uh, we can get ourselves defense platforms... Minefields. I want to get the space station, but we need to upgrade you to max strategic position. Yeah. I have to wait until next turn to upgrade you again. Which means we'll do it. Ah, we need to wait three more turns for you to grow. Good point. Well, once you're upgraded, we can then get us on the space station, so we'll kick it for three more turns. Oh no! Great emergency again! It says one, it means two. Uh, what are we doing? One more turn, okay. Right, upgrade. And then, space station! Oh yeah! We'll also want to start upgrading some of our fleets. Now, I don't believe we can really up- oh, no, we can upgrade you! Ah, yes, you can get a Gladius. Uh, actually, sorry, a Nova. I keep saying Gladius and I keep meaning Nova. Right, we'll get ourselves a Nova. And you are going to be... Eld... Ridge. Algiers Rebuke. What about you? Uh, yeah, you can get a, a decent chunk more power in there. Again, kind of wish I had something with more fighter craft, etc. I wonder if you can split a fleet. I don't think you can. I, it's one of these things that's really bugging me, is I don't think there is a way to split a fleet. Which seems like a really obvious thing you'd want to do, right? You'd be like, right, I have a fleet here, I would like to have two fleets here, and then I can, you know, improve from them. There's no way I'm just going to trash you. Guard position. I don't know what it does. It literally doesn't say, it just says guard position. Again, though, I assume this will be changed uh, when the when the actual game comes out, as opposed to being a beta. Uh, okay, let's add new ships. See what we can do here. So we can afford 106 worth of ships. Uh, there is the Endurance, which has torpedoes, lance weapons, light macro... Hundred and six. Alternatively, we can get just a few different of these light escorts. Uh, we could trash a firestorm, which would get us uh, one hundred and forty-seven, which wouldn't be enough for one of these. We could get like a dauntless with it. Yeah, I think we'll probably end up just grabbing... Could go for a falchion.
What is it you've got different here? Oh, you've got melt torpedoes, torpedoes, light macro turret, double barreled light macro turret. Uh, I don't actually fancy going for the Falchion with the torpedoes. The torpedoes are going to be a little bit too micromanagement y, given that uh, we'll have quite a few of them on the board. I don't want to do it with escorts. Uh, ultimately, it's a great idea. Melt torpedoes, spamming them from all the escorts and stuff, causing all the fires is great. But I think we'll just go and grab, like, uh, a couple of firestorms. Because enemy escort vessels running around and being a pain has definitely been a, a theme throughout this so far. So... You're going to rename to um, the, what would this be? Admiral Goic. And this would be Indefatigable Kira. Okay, back to Sector View. And this is where we're actually going to spend a whole ton of money. Uh, you know, we'll actually go in and add new ship from here. Nova, 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 Nova. The Endeavor doesn't actually have a Nova. The Endeavor has torpedoes, which is a shame. Uh, we will get ourselves how much can you get you can get 359 and we could dump the sword to get more so we could get almost like 400 ish so the dictator Launch bays, macro weapon, lance turret, nova cannon. The tyrant, plasma, macro, nova cannon, which means it's long ranged. The lunar, lance, macro, lance, nova cannon. The gothic. And the endeavor Z, the light cruiser version. Ugh. All lances on the gothic. I'm feeding the Dictator. Yeah, we're going to grab that. I've got 140 points left. Mm, 140 points. I mean, hell, if we dump the Endeavor, we could get ourselves another Dictator. Which would be hilarious, because that would be, be powerful. Two Nova Cannons... Uh, fleets of fighters, bombers, etc. All good. Really tempted by this right now. Really tempted. The other return to face with what? 140 points as we could get ourselves another endeavor, or we could get like an endurance or a defiant. Defiant actually does come with launch base and two light lances. Defiant does fit. And we do lack that light cruiser roll currently. I think we'll go with the Defiant. Okay. So. You are going to be. The Dictator. Draken. And this can be savior of Flex. Sounds good to me. That puts us a lot stronger. I think we're good. Just hit this button and take the Battle of Cadia. Really? That's their armada. Okay, if that's your armada, we'll... You know what, we'll... Oh, does it have to be Spire in Charge? It has to be Spire in Charge. Okay, I was hoping to have the... 
Martians in for once, but fair enough. Let's do this. I thought it was going to be like, oh, it's a big battle. Our defenses alone are worth the same as their actual force. This is... Huh, okay. Admiral, we're showing Imperial vessels engaged with traitor vessels around the ruins of Cadia. Our specs is show massive damage across all vessels. They cannot endure long. Then we have arrived at a propitious moment. All ships, prepare to attack. I am also reading concentrations of plasmic stelazoa in local space. They are highly unstable and will explode on contact. I recommend we eliminate them before we engage the enemy, Admiral. Agreed. Let it be so. Protect at least one ship from Voskamp's fleet. Spies flying sh sh flagship must be destroyed or whatever. Destroy around every ship of the castle. Okay, that's pretty standard. Uh, we've managed to get four uh, floor, what are they ships of the line and four escorts in. And our allies here are packing. Dauntless Light Cruiser. Another light cruiser. Dauntless Light Cruiser. Firestorm. Or a sword. I didn't look that closely. It's a sword. Firestorms have the lance mounted here. I think? Let me check. Let's look at ours. There we go. There's the lance. So that's a sword. That's a firestorm. Right. Uh, I think we'll just group you into just one big escort block. Normally I'd go with like two escort blocks because then they can ping and cover a bigger area. We might do that as the battle continues, but for now it's fine. One, two, three, four. Right, what do we have? I think we've only got the one Nova Cannon, right? Because these are the light cruisers, yeah, not the actual proper cruiser, which is a shame. I should have put the proper cruiser as the flagship. It would have probably meant that we'd have only got three flagships, though, uh, three ships of the line, though, because it had been more expensive. But we do have two lots of torpedoes. No melt torpedoes, though. That only fires two of them, though. Yeah. Okay. Plan here is probably split up. Put the Imperials on one side. Put the Mechanicus on the other side. And then do a pincer maneuver. And the Escorts can go down the center. Right. I want you at range six. Lord Admiral! We can't take much more of this, and my strategium reports more enemy vessels inbound. Is this true? I concur. Hold fast, Captain. If the Emperor wills it, we shall be your salvation. So these things explode with a big radius. Oh, okay. That's scary. There's one right here. Uh, right. They explode, and if they destroy enemies, they would explode and inflict 250 to 500 damage, ignoring armor to all ships within a 3,000 unit radius. That's, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. With matchless efficiency. Interceptors engaging. Aye, Admiral. Can I not get you to follow an ally? I can't. Okay. Have we got that one Nova Cannon? We do. Boost. If we can get the Nova Cannon on this. Oh, it exploded anyway. Oh, nice. Okay. Cruising speed set. Well, your shield's down, so if you can hit the Nova Cannon now. This is going to be a fun battle. Oh, oh, don't fly towards me like that. Heading acknowledged. Okay, we're going to have to cut across. All ahead. 
head full. Whoa, were they just actually coming towards us? I think they are. Oh, God. Keep away from me. Execute high energy turn. I have more. Right, closing on you. Targeting enemy vessel. All of you close in on. Ooh, actually, shoot that. There we go. Nice. Got the kill from that. Targeting enemy Strange vessel. space jellyfish. We are ready to serve. Engage engine red lines. Oh, yes, we've got the stasis bomb. Stasis bomb is amazing. I'm going to drop the stasis bomb here and we're going to go around the edge. Starhawks engaging. Yeah, I missed you the torpedoes. That's fine. That was a long shot. We wait your command. Right. Boarding action. Boarding action. Understood. Right, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. What are you doing? We wait your command. Oh, you're keeping a very large distance. And then Nova Cannon. We've also got plasma bomb, which we're gonna drop here. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The uh, plasma creature. Engaging target. Okay, so good. So far. Receiving your order. Weapons calibrated. We serve. Please mark some enemies for me. Thank you. I don't think you're going to... Yeah, you're turning away from the torpedoes. Which actually benefits us quite nicely. Come on, you're so close to being dead. Ah, plasma creature! There we go. Target locked in. All right, bomber squadron on you. Starhawks engaging. And then boarding. Yeah, they're not space marines. We wait your command. Right, you will need to get out of there. Maximum burn. Cruising speed set. Boom. Go away, shoot. Nice. You're gone. Who's left? Not many people. Ship ready. Actually, I think it's just you. I may have overestimated how strong the uh, Chaos Fleet was going to be. shall be but at Cadia the Emperor's will yet prevails that seems like Engaging. such a poor delivery of that line like oh, the, the Emperor's will still prevails yeah it's, it's really nice the Emperor's got a lot of will he's really into this whole will prevailing thing so you know that's cool and all Course engaged. right let's align some torpedoes here changing course Course engaged. And then line some more torpedoes here. Starhawk bomber squadron. Starhawks engaging. Stasis bomb.
And then plasma bomb. Your orders? I think you're gonna get caught in both. Yeah, it's a good day. Okay, I need you two to go around this way. Uh, I need... Oh, no! Your orders? We serve. Need you to go this way. Setting course. Okay, and then torpedoes. Good. Nice hit. Heading acknowledged. Okay, one boarding action. Plasma bomb. Understood. Two boarding action. Engaging. Underway. Engine destroyed in the middle of the plasma bomb. Boom! That's a pretty nice pass there. Although this gives me an idea. Hi. We serve. Acquiring new vector. For the Emperor. Brace for impact. And just keep beating on them. Ship ready. All right, here we go. Keep beating on them. Keep beating on them. Hi, Admiral. There we go. <laughs> Maybe a little bit overkill there. Oh, rhyming in this game is just the best. Okay, maybe stop. Don't hit the Mechanica ship. The yes, I'm sure those spirits do obey. Oh, they're they're good spirits, Brent. We wait your command. Okay, of course you still hit the Mechanica ship anyway. We are ready to serve. Right, boarding. Bombing. Starhawks engaging. Severe damage to their corrupted machine. Oh yeah. Those corrupt machines need all the damage. Chaos traitors. We serve. It's just not on. Not on target. Look, did you do it again? No, my ally did it this time. Hi there. Cruising speed set. Cruising speed set. <laughs> just love how you just whack them around as their escorts. All enemy vessels have been destroyed or have fled with tails between their legs. Then it is a victory. This is the one benefit of playing Imperials, is that front prow. My thanks, Admiral. We owe you our lives. You owe the Emperor your lives and your service. In his name, I will put both to use. Cadia stands. Cadia stands. Cadia stands. Yes. Both your lives in service. Cadia stands. Yes, yes. Oh, Samantha's pride is is a veteran? Sweet. Do we not get any renown for that? Are they shooting at Okay. Chaos fleet is dust on the solar winds, my lord. As it should be. 
Well done, Admiral. The clarion you have sounded will echo throughout the Eye of Terror. The Imperium reclaims its own. Repopulation efforts are already underway. The scale of it. It's too much for a single sector. Indeed, Admiral. Many of the repopulation fleets are heading to Nemesis Tessera, which the Lords of Terror decree shall now fall under your command. I... I am humbled by their trust. Then reward it with triumph, Admiral Spire. Eyes both near and distant watch your actions with great interest. Incensed by spies, counter in the Kedin sector. Curse forces gathered a powerful retaliation on heading towards. Uh, yay! Okay. You've earned 300 resource. A new navy has arrived as a reinforcement deployed in the Cadia system of the Cadia sector. Okay. And 500 renown. Oh, sweet. From now on, plasmetic Medusa events may happen during battles. Okay. Command capacity plus one. We get battle cruisers. Yes. Leadership. Upgrade points. The battle group Silver Dawn is returning to dockyards via Nemesis Tessera. You will protect it. Of course, my lord. Have a care. The area is infested with traitors and upstart Xenos. We shall do as our duty commands, my lord. Hi, Lord Admiral Drang has ordered Admiral Spire to escort the Silver Dawn battle group, led by the experienced Admiral Vanessa Catalilia. Catal Catalia. Catalia, who is returning from a secret assignment to the edge of the Aegis Ocularis. Complete the special operation in the Nemesis Tessera system. Uh, okay, sure. Oh. Our operatives have informed us of a hidden chaos stronghold at Nemesis Tessera. Uh, this doesn't look very hidden. And this is this is locked. Unlock system for four battle plants. Okay. Ah, right, and this is from Sabena. Sure. Do I need to leave a fleet here? I... I don't know if I... I guess I probably don't. Right, let's look at this. We could get ourselves... Ship speed is reduced by 25% instead of 50. Uh, cost of moves is reduced. That's pretty nice. Generator, shield regeneration... 25% shield regeneration is really good. Command and stance cooldowns reduced 10%. Nice. Uh, fire is reduced. Meh. Ships equipped with launch bays get one additional load for each type of ordnance. That's really good. Lightning strikes. Good. I'm going to say the expanded strike hangers. That's so good. And we also now have battle cruisers, which is really nice. Battle cruisers are... Really, just so cool. Uh, your fleet is pretty trash. No, no offense, mate. Also, by the way, I can scroll out to reach this, and you can't scroll in again. If you scroll out and you scroll in, you should scroll in on the sector you're in because if you have a one way, and if you have a, like a, a forwards backwards thing, you should always have it be on the same control. You you can you know have click as well. But I want to be able to scroll in if I scroll out. Yeah, I think you're probably going to get left to defend the Cadia system. And everyone else is going to leave. I would love to switch some ships around and give you a cruiser and then upgrade one of my cruisers to like an actual proper battle cruiser. Because I love the Mars class. The Mars class is a carrier and it also has... A Nova Cannon. Mars class is my favorite of the actual ships of the line for the Imperials, I think. Um, yeah, I don't think I'd go for the battleships. Like, obviously the battleships are really cool, etc. Blah, 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 blah. But I prefer the multi-role of the, of the Mars. 
It's good. That said, in this, the spiked prow for ramming is really great as well. Don't get me wrong. Uh, do we have a battle cruiser for the Space Marines? I don't think we do. I think it's you just wait until you get to like the battle barge. Yeah, you have to wait until you get to the battleship. Armageddon. Who wants the Armageddon? Heavy Lance, Heavy Macro, Lance, Torpedo. So kind of similar to the Overlord, but the Overlord actually has Plasma Macro weapons, uh, which are long range. The Mars, though. Launch Bay, Heavy Macro, Lance Turret, Nova Cannon. So good. There's also a reason it, it costs 50 more points than the Armageddon and 44 more than the Overlord. So good. We can get 74 points worth. Yay. Which, annoyingly, is about almost the right amount. If we were to move a Firestorm and a line ship out, we could get ourselves a Mars class in here. We can't do that because we can't move ships out of the fleet, which, as far as I'm aware, you can't do. Can I? No. Oh, scrolling just worked. <gasps> okay, right. So if you have your mouse on top of it, you can... Sc I can't scroll in here, but if I do that, I can. Okay, right. That's that's helpful. But since I can scroll out with my mouse anywhere, I mean, obviously, it's always within system, I should be able to just scroll in back to the one I was in. Although I appreciate that. I, I recognize what they've done there, though. I really want to get ourselves a Mars class. I really do. But either way, this is the end of our turn. Uh, you would come up to Acadia, but it's full. So, I think everyone just stays where they are. Might even spend money upgrading some pointless worlds or something. For now, though, I've been at Relysium. We'll end the episode here. We've taken Cadia back. Now we've got to find Nemesis Tessera and find out where all the Chaos stuff's going down. But, until next time, like, subscribe. Let me know how you're finding it down below. And stay shiny.